Our readings indicate that Advent just powered up some kind of psionic transmitter in this area. And if they're assuming no one knows about it yet, it shouldn't be that well guarded. If we can take it down quickly, Advent's operations across this entire region will be in disarray. Hello, welcome to more Covert Infiltration X2. And oh boy, do we have a mission here today. Um, Heavy Fog and Congregation. Probably two of the... Bats. Baddest sit traps, worst sit traps you can get, I'd say. At least I don't like them, let's put it that way. Alright, any second now? Advent has constructed a psionic transmitter in this area, tied directly into their primary network. Our intel suggests destroying it while it's still connected will severely damage their linked systems. Plant the explosives before they have a chance to pull the plug. Alright, we don't have anyone particularly sneaky here, but of course Heavy Fog will give us concealment again um, if all alerted enemies have been killed. Sounds easy enough, right? Mm hmm. Yeah. Okay. This looks important. <laughs> My heart stopped for a second there. So I saw that, that health bar pop up and I was like, oh, it's just a power now. Sheesh. Ah, okay. Alright, deep breaths, deep breaths, and continue on. Um, we had a very similar, uh, somewhat similar, with the, the, the container boxes here, I remember remission. The warlock then showing up. Already there. Anyway, um, let's just get it on. Get there now. We should do some battle scanning. Now this box here doesn't even have any way to get on top of it. What is this path you're taking? Why are you not just going this way? Oh, what? You can't... What is... Hmm. I guess there's something with Crash's shield that's somehow now blocking this. Wild. Okay, great. That's, that's all great. Um, go, go, go. Just, just come this way. No need to ask twice. Hell yeah. We didn't hear a thing. It's another power note right there. And I wouldn't mind finding some enemies just so that we can start start blasting. A bunch more battle scanners here and here. There we go, thanks. So many priests, why? A hey, double Naja, double priest. Okay. Do we have any super fancy openers? Not true. Maybe, actually? Didn't you get something? The ball? Go, go, go! Go there for now. Mm. 
enemy detection ranges I can't really judge at the moment. Like we need to be here. Like this is this is outside of vision range. Apparently this is in vision range. Alright. If we already get revealed by that. God you guys are ugly. We don't have a choice anyway, but we don't, so we can just go there. Okay, that's cool. And so you can go here. Rolling. There. Yeah, this is this is messed up here. Great. Rockets with the shield. I guess I can just face walk out of this situation. I'd really like to give everybody some shields here. Surely I don't regret using up that cooldown. And do we want to hold something? I'll just put you on the watch. So, hey, completely, both groups move completely right. up. They might spot me here on the flank. I don't think they come far enough forward. No, I think that, that might actually spot me. Hi. Snake's taking a nap. Anytime now. Priest's like, yeah, I'm not gonna move. Vision is based on movement, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna move. Uh, we need to probably hit a thing uh, we can take some some shots here as weird as that sounds I'm just surprised the um the crit chance is so low precision weapon crit it's 80 plus and then spots like dodge Get 25 dodge. Sheesh. Um, ah, it's fine. Just crit anyway. Come on. Hard target. Minimal damage. Why don't? I'm not your reboss. Yeah, apparently we're flanking that other priest from here. What, what's over there? Don't know how it works, don't care. Most importantly, we're flanking the snake. There's thousands to go. Check it before you get too close. In combat rush to the civilians. Yes, fear me, Advent. Fear me and my civilian armies. You get multi shots. Let's take one shot here. No, he takes minus five for damage. Great. I don't think I want to hit this though. Well done. As we had hoped, the network separation has been temporarily delayed. Well, what we can do here now is a siphon. Hitting the power nodes with that reduced visibility from heavy fox is gonna be 
kind of annoying. Okay, and the soul fire. Didn't get the sustain, that's what I was hoping for. Kill that joker. The shields. Uh, the shields and the shields. I'm just gonna move up a little bit. Start to keep moving forward, yeah. Okay, no sustain for you either. Let's... Tired of waiting around. I think we have the time then to pop this note here. And we're concealed. Get it done. Dexter range against civilians seems to be one tile. Alright, no chosen. Sure enough, by the way. Always nice. Favorite chosen is the no chosen. Oh, you're extra sneaky, right? Yeah, you don't get any detection against civilians. Wonderful. We have some more scanners here. I'm just wondering if I want to throw that now or start off next turn. Absolutely nothing. All right. Solid copy. Heading there now. Oh, there's like fences here. Getting it done. On the move. Some willpower. That's what I like to see. Next turn we have her um battle scanner again. We did battle scan here and there was nothing in range, but I'm kinda assuming there's gotta be something near the objective. But with extra sneaky, I think we can risk it going all the way in there. Heading there now. Check in that direction. Nothing. Depending on how it goes, we might just tag the objective next turn. Do I want to throw another scanner? Should be on the safe side here. But if that is free, that is um, double floater. It doesn't even give us give us vision here. Yeah. Wish I had some more cover up there. Moving on target location. Kind of moving uh, fairly aggressively, but again, we have reconcealed due to the sit trap. Hell yeah! And the battle scanner gives us enough information to not be super at risk here, I think. Moving to designated coordinates. Time to motor.
Alright. How many how many of those do you see? Not that many. You could move like here and then you see them all. You could kill them all. Potential. Um, the shields still on cooldown. I think we could. Uh, let me just. Let's Understood. move here. Moving out. So, kill them all does separate shots on each one of them. We have 9 to 11, we have zero chance to put. Because they're technically all behind some sort of cover object. Put so much for the stat boons. But that kind of wastes the bonus action we get from so much. Ah, let's just let's just do kill them all. And see if we can uh, kill at least some of them. You see, also see whether the scamper ability stopper actually did its work, and it did. None of the floaters um, decided to do something. Well, shoot him again. Thousands to go. You know the deal. It's still moving. Did we just miss 95? Of course we did. Of course we did. Still concerned that there's another group just around the corner, but since we only see like seven tiles, we're just not seeing it. Let's put on cooldown. Um, I think if you go here and overwatch, that gets me more than shooting the floater and somebody else. Shoot the floater, especially yeah, if you move away Giant and grapple there. Area. I'll take the high road. That's how it's done. Ah, you will watch that priest. Would technically just run in there, get ready to hit the button next time. Go, go, go! Man, I'm still feeling somewhat confident with the battle scanner we did last turn that there's not anything in the immediate vicinity, like over there would be the next option. Oh, he regenerated right from that other document. We're ahead. Let's keep it that way. Looks like we got some friends behind us. Troops here. Watch the it's fine. It. Nuts, this is gonna hurt. Menace one them. five, they're about to disconnect the transmitter. This is our last chance. The X4 charges are active, but the aliens are still working to isolate the transmitter. Eliminate any remaining hostiles before they cut it off. Not. Um, but you don't. Of course, you don't see them. They're down there. How, how are you supposed to see them, eh? Rock and roll. What you got, yeah? 
What do you have 100% on the guy in full cover, but only 97 on the guy in half? Wait, do I worry about this? Not at all. I, I guess that'll be okay. I mean, I don't want to trigger thousands to go, I guess. Okay. And then, like, we are dealing with two enemies that are close enough that we can easily flank them with anyone. I think we're probably fine here. He says, and gets most the, the first 100%, 50% to crit. It gets dodged. But this. I definitely got that one out of ammo here. Oh, I guess, yeah, thousands to go, yeah, uh, one reload to go. Good to go! Uh, right, um, I wanted to actually, yeah, yeah, I can't sight him because you don't see anything. Yeah, I remember. I remember why I couldn't do it. You can't get to the flank, okay? She kind of already limits my options, yeah? Let's move already! What's your shot looking like? 99, 8% raise, 50 to crit. I think I can afford playing greedy here. I'm going for the siphon over oh, you're not feeling so over damage or control here. So you have a hole in your pants. I need to fix that. Especially if we do rapid targeting. Gives us the one dope bonus damage. And I should also probably remove the grace here, ish. Armor still holding. We're getting lucky with the lack of sustains. So and we're thinking about the last congregation mission we had. It's another data pad, by the way. Um, yeah, the last congregation was just awful. Like, everything was always sustaining, and they were then stasising our, our team left, right, and center. I'm on it. Advent forces sighted. Alright, Rocketeer, Shooter, Priest. That was some weird activation. It's it's like they, they kind of teleported back to where they thought they originally were. Gives me at least a little bit of an idea of where okay, I need to move to see them. One tile short of getting flanks, yeah. This guy can't see for a flank. You can get a flank on the rocket here. Yeah? This is line aside to the shield bearer and actually maybe to the priest. Yes, cool. Let's see him. You go here. That's a flank. Moving to fire position. Sure thing. This 
So we could do that, or we could run Fox somewhere where she um, flanks the guy, and then we do um, what's called here. Good strike. We both would get some shots off. No, I think we're just gonna just gonna precision shot. That's right. So then um, down here, I think we're just gonna withdraw a little bit. Break down the side of the priest. We have anything for the priest, like a flashbang or alternatively, we're not playing any games. Let's see, priest, yeah, okay. That just stays as his ass. And the next turn we can. Take him out. Not for dinner. And I totally Don't should have taken a me. shot first, yeah. Rolling out. It's turned out to be a very weird mission, I have to say. Got it. Moving. And I wouldn't be surprised if there's not um, some additional enemies somewhere. Just haven't seen yet. Finally. And it was almost too easy how we got to the objective. Yeah, but let's let's not talk about the mission as if it was already no, over. Oh, he takes minus five for damage. GSL. And there's the sustain, okay. Got me one good eye on this spot here. What'd you expect? Okay, what did I expect? Not this. <laughs> not this, absolutely not. Wow, that is probably the one of the fastest and easiest uh, regular missions we have had in a long while. But we effectively had like concealment ambushes on half the enemy team, right? Just because of the reconceal from from the fog. Kill them all. Yeah, it wasn't wasn't the best setup position to do that, but we got some value out of it. That being said, I'm not suddenly, uh, just because of this mi one mission, <laughs> turning into a heavy fog enthusiast. And I'm still going to be concerned about congregation whenever it shows up. ...have threatened the union between humanity and the elders. Today, with the destruction of vital infrastructure, they would now threaten our very way of life. We must follow the example of the elders and show patience. An impressive performance, Commander. Our troop skills are improving with every deployment. Oh, ocean time on our psychonic. Second to last rank. We can get domination, permanent mind control, schism. Which we have um, as a gem right now, but I guess we could always swap that out now if we get it full time. And fortress, be pretty also also nice one to have, right? Um, but I, it's gotta be domination. 
I mean, probably another one sooner or later. Like, I don't care about Guardian, Hail of Bullets, like anything XCOM Row. Damage dealt of Sonic abilities by 50% increased. Point level ups available, and I think it's just said want available. Hell yeah, that was about time. Beautiful. I think that that shield really uh, shows shows what's up. And if I saw it correctly, none of them are tired. Like all are, are ready for another mission, if we need it. Okay, otherworldly horrors off the table for now. Yeah, yeah, cruel capacity. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Oh, and that was apparently our first run in with elite priests. Okay. Just doing a quick uh, reboot here, recheck what's happening. So we have a few other missions on the table, but I think all of these were um, ones we don't necessarily want or care about. situation. I'm not sure about that one. Hmm. Like, I mean, most of the dark events, right, I bet in some ways. So countering is always kind of a good thing. Just because, oh, it's not so bad, we can let this happen. If we have a chance to counter it, why not? Also, more missions is more XP. Um, the real question is, what other missions do we have that, that come on? So, this is the engineer. So, this will lead into an infiltration mission. Exalt HQ is going to reveal... HQ, which we can do at any point, so that's there's no time on this. Uh, that's free stuff, basically. Okay, that's all good. We need to double check the activity chain. Again, if it's been a few days between between missions, I always have to kind of have to reboot everything. Um, mate hole, we can do. I guess we already, the other ones we don't care about, we already um, passed up our chances. So it's really just those three. Show Force, Wild Hunt, Mate Home. And garrison, sabotage advent infrastructure. Where is distract advent garrison? Sabotage monument. Oh, and sabotage infrastructure is an uh, transmitter? Okay. I'm just looking at this and it says 27 people ready and I'm feeling like, yeah. And, and we get some people here back from on training. 
think we should just do more missions. Just to also get, get XP for people. Right, let me just wait for the bond training to finish and then we'll take another look at what we have. Avenger plotting new course. Like part of my hesitation is really just a oh god chaotic situation etc. I don't want to deal, deal with this shit, and not so much a do we want to counter this dark event. Setting course for the East African sector. The end of the day, show of force is I think pretty much an additional port on each mission. I don't I don't even. Um, but either way, it's gonna make missions more difficult, like, you know? As uh, much as I like to claim it wouldn't, now it will certainly make it more tricky. Um, you're kind of very low, except for Iron Bone. We may might get him on another mission here. Especially with Domination and higher tier enemies with Cortex Situation, that might come in quite handy. Uh, I guess the, it boils down to my biggest problem many, if any, cannon users do I have available to actually shred enemies if we need to shred somebody? The answer to that is... You put one of your cannon users into uh, gene modding, what would you ex were you expecting? Open actions... Oh, you're now listed as a support and not on that side. That's also kind of low, so you're not available. No, I don't think we have any cannons really available. Like, kind of? Maybe get Dimitri on a mission map. Maybe, maybe I just need to give one of my cannon users side training so I can siphon will between cannon shots. To keep them in the in the in the run. On the other hand, don't we have some people now with bull pops and shredding? So we no longer just just relied on on the cannon users. Uh, wasn't one of the new. You guys? Alright, I'm gonna look a little bit through my soldiers here. Give me a second and I'll, I'll set up squad. Right, so here's the squad that we're taken out on this mission. Yeah, I was looking through um, the, the... We had the new... Um, guy with the bullpup of shredding, but she's in psionic grading training, and our existing bullpup shredder is um, on a covert action. So those shredding options are gone. But we have the rocket launcher, and we have various, you know, the alien rocket shreds a fair bit. We're gonna take one of the napalm rockets out to see how that fares. Um, and yeah, we have double psionics. We have one arm of everybody. I had to build another plasma rifle because we're gonna. Very heavy on the rifles here on this squad. But other than that, that looks good. And if we get a nice ambush or two or three in with Milos, that's gonna be fine. It's a sabotage monument, so there's no timer. We can, you know, reconceal, take the time, wait for ambush cooldown, and then do another shadow strike ambush. And now with 20% more crit chance, so um, even higher chance of getting that reconceal from whatever it is again. Fear and wonder. Yeah, that's gonna be the next episode. Thanks for watching. See you next time.